What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today um, we're going to go over the market as per usual. Make sure to drop 20,000 MT in the comments. Like the vid, sub if you weren't new for a chance of winning 20,000 MT, baby. Also, follow me on Twitter for some uh, snipes and all that good stuff. I pretty much post everything on Twitter. So, uh, yeah, make sure to drop that like, all that good stuff. And, yeah, today, um, a lot of people talk about the token market. I'm going to be honest. Don't think anything's going to happen. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I honestly think nothing will happen. 110% nothing will happen. Because, if you guys don't know, 2K dropped a little VC sale. They're looking to, they're looking to make that bank. And uh, it does look like they're going to drop packs. As you can see, the little refresh button all the way at the right side. Um, yeah, definitely not really. There's 110% not going to drop any any token cards. That's what I'm thinking. Um, they usually, if it was going to happen today, they would have dropped it already. But that's also just a prediction. They could drop it later today. But honestly, I don't think so. They're trying to make that money. Tokens will not make the money. So, VC's on sale. Packs will probably drop tomorrow. That's what I'm thinking. Hopefully packs do drop tomorrow. We'll take advantage of that market. And uh, yeah, if you guys do, um, if you guys want any videos that I could pre-record for you guys, let me know down in the comments as well. And also some predictions for the token market players. That would be kind of cool as well. But yeah, without further ado, right now we're going to talk about the market. And personally, I am I have been working the market a little bit. Um, I actually just got Hakeem. Loki got him for really high priced. I... Um, Placed a bid for 220k. Didn't think they would raise the bid that high, and that's exactly what they did. And yeah, I'm gonna lose like 50k MT on him. Kind of upset about that. I gotta get those spotlight challenges done. But yeah, right now, what I would say, it looks like a market crash is coming. It looks like people are confused on what content's dropping. NBA 2K will probably drop a tweet soon. So when they drop that tweet, market will crash a little bit, and it'll crash even more tomorrow. So right now, I recommend selling everything you got. As you can see, there's a ton of Hakeems up here. I'm going to lose so much MT from him. I'm so triggered. I lost a ton of MT on packs. I'm really upset. But anyways, let's get into some market talk. Right now, it literally just looks like everything is dropping low key. And you must sell your cards ASAP. Um, definitely going to recommend um, selling pretty much everything. If you have Tracy McGrady, I would sell him. If you have Tim Duncan, I would sell him. And also... Some snipe filters have been working for me pretty well. I missed a ton of snipes, so they really haven't been working too well. Pink Diamond right here, looking for some Hakeems. I missed a, a Hakeem for 100k, bro. So, so tight about that. Biggest L ever. I could have made 200, 100k profit, but I took an L. So right now, as you can see, looking at my team, I have Bob Pettit on the auction. I have Hakeem. I have Kobe. I have a pretty decent team. Nothing too crazy. I also have like a, a 600k on another account. So I am working the auction. My other account is pretty much my my savings account. I go on there, snipe a little bit. I have to, it's honestly a pretty good method if you guys want to do this. So what I do, I transfer about 300k to another account, made another 300k profit on it, and that's like my savings fund. So once in a while, I go on there, snipe a little bit. I have no team on that account. I literally just go on the auction and I snipe a ton of cards, invest in a ton of cards. Pretty good way of saving MT. If something crazy drops, I have that backup account. I could transfer some MT over to my main account. And uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing. It's been pretty, pretty solid. It's been working pretty well. And uh, yeah, so I have a ton of MT on this account. I'm over a million MT. And I have a lot of, I have a high collector's level with that other account running. Um, I'm pretty set right now. So with that being said, right now we're going to go over the market there's a lot of things we could talk about so let's get into it a ton of mt methods and a ton of ways to just pretty much invest and make mt so i'm gonna start off with one thing right now i'm trying to complete some of my collections and there's one method you guys that's gonna help and it is oh that's a nice price right there um i'm gonna just say one thing try bidding on cards either amethyst silvers anything you guys want it's been working it's been clearing up my i mean it's been um stacking up my collection and i'm going to show you what i mean so i go to silver um usually the things that go for like 1200 mc i would just bid on if i have in my collection they're usually not rare 
but if i don't they're pretty rare so right there that kobe white probably goes for around 2k gonna try to get him for the low this guy probably goes for a decent amount because i don't have him that's pretty much what i go by it's nothing too easy. it's nothing too uh crazy it's pretty simple um but yeah i'm gonna add him to my collection my collections are slowly getting there trying to get that last 200 tokens and then we get the antoine jameson which i'm really not too hyped about but um yeah slowly working up that collection i'm trying to get this scotty bro that scotty be fire but right now um everything is just so expensive bro everything and honestly they gotta drop some fire tomorrow with that vc sale one other tip for you guys bro i'm snacking up on tristan thompson's right now i am stacking up on a ton of tristan thompson's um pretty much any tristan thompson that goes up for like 2300 or cheaper i just buy out because you have to think about his stats his stats are really good People do like him in the NBA, so he's low-key a hype beast amethyst. He also has a three-point shot. He has a mid-range shot. He's going to be a pretty solid budget power forward going forward. So with that being said, I would stack up on him. That's one tip to you guys that I'm doing. I got a ton for 2,000 or less. Um, he's around 2,500, so I can make like a solid 300 MC off each. I bought about 10. That's 3K right now. But he's going to go up once those packs are gone. That's, that's what I'm doing. You guys don't have to follow my tips. But that's a really, really main tip. Some other cards I would stack up on. First off, this Amethyst Filter straight money. Anything that pops up besides Boozer, Elton Brand, and Tristan Thompson, you buy. Like that Bobby Jones might just be a snipe. I'm not totally sure. But um, yeah, if any Amethyst 20s pop up, you buy that. There's just so many cards that you could buy. So let's see how much this Bobby Jones is. Ah, uh, he's not a snipe. So also, um, I will be selling every single card in my collection like no joke i'm not holding on to any cards i don't want to take any risks because tomorrow could be a big day for sniping it could be a big day to be making mc i might keep hakeem i'm not totally sure i feel like if i sell him now i'm gonna lose a ton of mc but the problem is i don't want to sell him because he is like he's honestly a top three center of the game maybe even the best center of the game so he's probably going for around 200 something k I'm going to lose about 30k MT if I sell them now. And honestly, I feel like there's too many of them on the auction right now. So I kind of want to wait. I don't know why there's so many on the auction. I literally don't know how so many people pulled him. I don't understand. But it looks like something, some free packs out. I don't know. But i never seen this many Hakeems on the auction. Over the last day or two, he just went up so much. And I'm so confused on how. But um, other than that diamond filter has been popping really i'm still waiting for that damn token market to drop it's kind of pissing me off how they haven't dropped it yet but uh, if you guys don't know the diamond filter i will go diamond enabled by jerry west by earl monroe to knock out these players because they always pop up and they ruin this filter so make sure you buy diamond earl monroe diamond jerry west diamond jamal wilkes and pretty much anything that pops up besides lou hudson reed Carr, and moshburn is a snipe this filter has been money. It's been working for a really long time, and I really hope you guys try it out. Um, let me think. Sniping is definitely going to be slower than usual today. With no content dropping, everyone's kind of triggered. No one's really sniping. No one's really playing the game that much. We're waiting for that token market. I don't think it's going to drop. Like I said, pretty much. Just any other questions you guys have, let me know down below. Right now, the market is too, too slow not a fan of it right now kind of annoying but uh yeah other than that i really don't think there's anything else to talk about um some people that stacked up on wilt some people that stacked up on zion rubies it's not a bad time to sell wilt actually did go up to a solid like 40 something k we're actually gonna check his price right now for you guys um let me think what else do people stack up on if you guys have any cards that you want to stack up on let me know i'll let you know my opinion on it um yeah wilt around 44k he was at 35k like a week or two ago so he did go up a little bit if you did stack up on 10 of them make 5k a piece pretty solid i would say so pretty good mt making method that did turn out took a little bit of time to sell but yeah that's pretty much it other than that um if you guys have any questions like i said let me know and that's pretty much all i got make sure to drop that like make sure to drop that sub and uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, if you guys also want to see some more videos, please let me know. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.